Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as I promised, I'm gonna show you the orchids that I picked up from Lyman Greenhouses in Waltham, Massachusetts. They had an orchid show about a week ago and I picked up six of their orchids that they had shipped in from Hawaii. I only filmed myself repotting two of these orchids, um, but if you're interested in seeing that, just keep on watching towards the end because I will show that as well. So anyway, to start, this is Phaphylophyllum Ho Chi Minh, and I probably butchered that name. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. What really striked me when I first saw this plant was the leaves are absolutely beautiful. You can see they have a gorgeous pattern on the leaf and it's in bloom and the bloom is fuzzy, which is super cute. And when the bloom actually opens up, it's a pink color, absolutely gorgeous. And this is one of the orchids that I showed myself repotting. So stay tuned if you wanna see me repot this. The, the root system is super cool, so you definitely will wanna see that when I repot him. And of course I have him in a plastic pot and I like doing that so I can check on the growing material to see if it is moist so I know if I should water it or not. And I got this idea from Miss Orchid Girl. She has a lot of great content as well on her channel. The next orchid I'm featuring is Angry Elam Leonis. It's a cross, it has two different names, um, but it's so adorable. It has like a fan shape and it's very thin. Uh, my friend Joyce came with me to the orchid show and she also purchased this orchid. It's absolutely so cute and it's miniature. A lot of the orchids I purchased are mini and apparently they stay small. Most of these do, I'm not sure if they all do. So I'll see if they actually do stay um, in the miniature size. You know what it kind of looks like? <laughs> I j this just occurred to me. If any of you guys are 90s kids, this looks like Hey Arnold, like his hair and his head. Like the shape totally looks like Hey Arnold. That just really, that just popped into my head, but who else thinks this looks like Hey Arnold's like hair and his head shape? That is hilarious. Maybe I'll name him Arnold. <laughs> I'm such a dork. Okay, so moving on. So the next orchid I got was a type of Oncidium. It's called Oncidium Pink Profusion. And this variety I heard is definitely supposed to stay miniature. And I just put him in this little mug to make him all cute, um, but it is still in a clear container. I just have it sitting in the mug for aesthetic purposes. And as you can see, there are little blooms that have not opened up yet. And the, one of the reasons I really liked this one is because the pseudo bulbs are super chubby and circular. So you can see better from this angle that the pseudo bulb is a big chubby, chubby little, little guy but it's really adorable and um, I'm really hoping that the blooms have a fragrance. And this is another one, another orchid that I did film um, myself repotting. So stay tuned if you want to see that. The next orchid is called uh, Catlia Wacarina. And I loved this plant because the leaves have a really gorgeous shape. It's very interesting and it also has those wider pseudobulbs that are super chunky. And I don't really know what this is. Does anyone know what that is on the plant? I don't really have any idea. I don't, I don't know why it's like purple, but this plant is so cute. So the next orchid is definitely hard to pronounce. It's Lelia Allori and Lelia de Anna. Um, I've never heard of this type of orchid before. It's really beautiful. And I'm hoping this guy stays small as well. And I definitely would appreciate care tips if any of you guys have grown any of these varieties what types of tips work for you because I've never had experience with all these different types of orchids and that would be really helpful. So the last orchid is a Dendrobium Hodinski and this guy has a bunch of little blooms that are going to open at some point. And when I saw this at the greenhouse, it did have a little bloom that was currently on it. Only one was left and it was yellow and pink, I believe, and it had little speckles. And you can see here that even the unopened blooms have little pink speckles on the outside as well, which is pretty interesting. All right guys, so now I'm gonna show you how I repot two of my orchids. So if you're interested in watching me do that, just keep on watching and I'm gonna get into that part portion of the video. The orchid that I'm starting with is an Oncidium Twinkle Pink Profusion. The type of material it was packaged in was moss. So I'm gonna be also using moss when I repot this today. I'm also gonna add some orchid bark just because I've had bad experience using just moss in the past. I have had rotten roots when I use just moss. 
I also got these little miniature pots from repotme.com. And the reason why I like clear pots is so I can see the root system and it really does help. So you can see if the media has dried out and um, it has ventilation on the bottom and on the sides of the pot. And um, orchids are epiphytic, so they really do benefit from ventilation and having an airy mixture. So I'm just gonna get on potting. So basically um, what I'm doing is just adding some moss to the pot and that has been moistened. I'm also gonna see, let's see, I'm gonna put them in there and see how much room we need. So I might put them in right now and just put the uh, material around the roots. I'm gonna put a little bit more in there. I might add some bark to change it up. And I am making sure that the pieces of bark are small since it's a small pot. And I'm not sure if any of you have grown Oncidium orchids before, but I'm used to caring for Phalaenopsis since that's the most common type of orchid in my, in my experience, like in the US. I noticed that with Phalaenopsis, the roots get green when they are hydrated. And that's a good way to tell that your orchid's hydrated. And then when they get silver, they um, are dehydrated and they can use a water. And I noticed with Oncidium that the roots are white even when they're hydrated. So if you guys have any tips on how to know when to water these, that would be really helpful. I would assume maybe I would wait until the media has dried out. I still have to do my research and figure out the best care for these, but I figured I would show myself repotting this before I completely dove into research. If you guys are interested in hearing what I find about care, let me know and I can definitely film care tips once I get more familiar with this type of plant. And I am going to use mostly uh, moss because I think these roots are pretty delicate and they look like they dry out really fast. So the moss will provide adequate moisture around the root system so they don't dry out. And then I won't have to be watering it every single day. And I'm also trying to lightly put this in the pot. I don't want to pack it in super tight. I don't want it to be too dense because I want the air, the roots to be able to breathe since orchids are epiphytic and they grow on trees in the wild and rocks and things like that. And some might grow in the ground. I mean, I'm not that familiar with orchids, honestly. Like I'm, they're um, something that I've kind of shied away from because honestly, it's kind of intimidated me a bit. And I'm really hoping I can keep these happy, but it's all about just learning about the care and providing them with the correct environment. So that is completely potted up. This is what it looks like from the side. So as you can see, since the pot is clear, you can see the roots and the media. So you can tell that it looks moist and you definitely would want to stick your finger in the media as well to check the moisture level when you think it needs water. But it's super cute and I love how tiny this pot is. I didn't realize they were gonna be this small, but it's actually the perfect size for a lot of my miniature orchids. The next orchid that I wanna repot is a type of Phileo, Phileopetalum. So let me just show you how gorgeous the leaves are. It kind of looks like an alien. So first of all, the roots are super fuzzy and they kind of remind me of like spider legs, which is super creepy, like a tarantula but it's really, really cool. And you can see there's a bud right there, so it's gonna go into flower. And there also is new growth. But can you just look how beautiful those leaves are? It's absolutely stunning. And I'm really excited to have this guy in my collection. He's so beautiful. The material that he was potted in was orchid chips and then some other type of material. I think it was some kind of like styrofoam but I'm gonna be reusing just the orchid um, chips and then a little bit of moss. I don't wanna use too much because I believe these roots are pretty water retentive because they are fuzzy and they're just really hardy. I did notice a little bit of rot. So you'll notice an orchid's roots have started to rot. Um, so like right here, if you press it, it's kind of smushy, even right here on the tip. It's also smushy, so I'm gonna just take my, my um, gardening shears and trim that away, because I don't want that to spread. Actually, I can just pull that piece off. And these are um, gardening shears that I sterilized. I'm just gonna chop away the, the bits that are not alive anymore. And that piece, oh, that just came right off. 
So I'm just kind of feeling the roots, checking them out, seeing if they look healthy. The rest of them look healthy, they look fine. Oh, that guy just came right off, oh gosh, okay. You'll also notice that there's little babies at the bottom. So I don't know if new growth grows from here, like if these will become little plants too, I'm not really sure. Let me know in the comments if any of you guys have this type of plant. So when I purchased this, um, the material that it was grown in, I think went to about there on the plant and I don't wanna bury that and I don't want it to sit too high. So he's gonna sit like that and I'll just put the um, material around the root system. And I looked up the bloom of this plant online and it looks super pretty, it's pink. So I'm really excited to see what it looks like when it goes into bloom. And like I mentioned, I'm being very, I'm using only very little moss because I don't want this guy to rot since it does look like the roots retain a lot of water. And the, um, the nursery that potted this up, I believe it's in Hawaii. So of course they have very humid weather so they probably want to avoid rot as well. So they didn't use any moss since it's very humid but it, I live in a slightly drier climate um, so I do want to have some moisture retained since it's not as humid as Hawaii. So you kind of have to adjust based on where you live and like what your conditions are like when you're repotting your orchids. Just gonna give it a little shake to allow that material to go to the bottom and get around the root system. And I wanna mention when I took these orchids out of their growing material, I made sure to check for any pests that might be present and I didn't see any, thankfully. I have heard of other people having experiences with getting slugs in their orchids that are coming from Hawaii or wherever they're coming from. So yeah, look out for that. It's kinda, you might have some critters in your plant when you receive it. All right, so this guy is all potted up. That's what the growing material looks like that it's sitting in. Now, do you guys call this media or medium? Growing media or growing medium? I always get confused. That's why I'm just calling it material since I probably am using the wrong lingo, but that's what it looks like. Really cute, I love this guy. He's like a little alien dude. <laughs> Alright guys, so I hope you found watching me repot the orchids helpful. I also just wanted to thank you for showing me so much kindness and support on my previous video about the negative effects of social media. I just wanted to shed a light on the way I was feeling and I figured most of you felt the same way. And even if you disagreed with me, that's completely fine. Everyone was very nice in the way that you responded to my video. There was no negativity that was just like mean or anything. So I really do appreciate all types of views, um, even if they are not in, agree with, in agreement with me. Um, but yeah, I really do appreciate all of you and I hope you enjoyed the, the video. And I would really appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and subscribe if you haven't already. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.